Hello beautifuls, and Sharla here with Dragonfly Soul Healing. So this morning I was reading the post by Elizabeth Prue talking about um, how this 10 years between 2020 and 2030 <clears throat> are the most expansive years for spirituality and the understanding of why we're here, <clears throat> all the illusions that are being put in place. Now, it's interesting because my throat's fine every time before I start my videos, yet every time I start these videos, that throat starts going. And so it shows that a lot of the people that are watching my videos and tapping into this energy are not speaking their truth or in avoidance of something, still holding themselves back because of something. So, <clears throat> right? this constant fight that we're doing in this lack of speaking truth, not standing up and standing in our power is causing more throat things coming up, more chaos to erupt in our world. And when we get stuck in that human illusion of we're here to work, pay bills and die, and even a lot of you that'll be on my page following this group don't believe in that yet you're living it. You're living it, aren't you? Even if it's your husband that's out working, paying bills, and damn near dying every day when he comes home because he's working so hard, stuck in this human illusion, stuck back in those Akashic records, in those past storylines that, cre that created this mess in the first place. <clears throat> we have a lot of avoidance here. And it's been a big... Um, I don't know necessarily a trigger, but a bit of a pet peeve for me, watching magical people stay neutral and stay shut off and not willing to even try and open that door for themselves. There's this lingering belief that you're not worthy, that you don't deserve to step into your magic, that magic doesn't exist. Yet I watch in circles while I <clears throat> sit across the room from the group of people that we're working on and I move stuff in that heart space from across the room and I watch them take a big, big deep breath. So I watch that magic happen every day, that I sit in sessions, that I go out and clear energy on the land, in towns, in my house, other people's houses. The magic's all around us if we're willing to see it. Yet most people are walking around like this guy here. Not willing. Can I get a little bit more light here? You can see his eyes are pure white here. And it's like this energy of preaching the truth, preaching waking up, preaching against the government, all these things is what I see from this, but yet doing so so blindly because we're getting so stuck that it's all the government's fault but don't you see that the longer we are plugged into these energies <clears throat> the longer that energy keeps running the show keeps manipulating these circumstances but being triggered by it isn't helping anything screaming at the top of your lungs going to protests or bashing things on Facebook, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. That's all irrelevant and not part of mission. We can't force people to see the truth. All we can do is live it, embody it, change the narrative. If I followed along with a lot of the people that were part of my awakening, I'd still be in Saskatchewan, still really stuck going, do aliens really exist? I know they do, they have to. My whole heart and soul says they have to. Yet everyone around me is work, pay bills, and die. And now, being out here in BC, there's a lot more people awake, a lot more people in the magic, but we also do have a lot of people still running those old, apocalyptic timelines. Are you one of them? No matter where you live, are you still in this place that 
everything is going to fall apart so bad that we need to run out into the bush, hide away, live off the land, and away from all the humans. Is that still your plan? <clears throat> how, do want, uh, how do the humans wake up, shift perspective, evolve spiritually, and become what this earth was meant to if we're all in this save self make sure we have enough money for self gotta make sure we have all the supplies we need as a crow flies by gotta make sure we have all the supplies we need so that when we get that cue in our head that says our kashic records say here's the point where we died before we gotta run You still running that in your head? You still playing those stories, those timelines? How can we heal and evolve if we're all running away from darkness? Like we're not just as powerful as those dark beings? Like we can't stand in our power because every time we did before we died, we got burned at the stake, we got called a witch, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's all the same fucking story, guys. It's all the same story, but that's not why we're here. It's not why you jumped into a body this time around. All those times that you've died before was part of the mission. And this is something that came up a little while ago <clears throat> with a girlfriend. because so we were kind of talking about how we failed before. You know, we haven't evolved the humans. We've been in this place where we jump into body. We have all this mission. We have this plan of how we can help. And then what happens is, is we end up dying, right? Things don't go as planned in our human mind. But in one human life, we can't necessarily change a, a whole thing that took hundreds of thousands of years to create, right? This, this isn't something that happened overnight. It's something that slowly and slowly suppressed us more and more, plugged us in deeper to those dark timelines, those apocalyptic timelines, the forced breeding, a lot of this energy that's keeping you trapped right now. And so every day that you get up and you just work and pay bills and die, or you just do what the humans say is, is normal, right? Making sure that all these things are checked, these boxes are checked, but really we're just striving to fucking survive. You're also living that timeline. And so this video is probably going to trigger people and I'm definitely going to put that in the title. Triggering video. Just a typical Sharla video sometimes. Um, <clears throat> because not everybody wants to see this. But if you're part of the solution and you hold codes to help this earth plane, which the majority of you will, and you really aren't going to find my page if you don't have a mission, then <clears throat> the trigger that's coming up is knowing that you're not in alignment right now with yourself and your mission. And that your <clears throat> avoidance of healing is actually holding that collective back. Your avoidance of standing up and speaking your truth and not giving a shit what anybody thinks about you is holding you back from mission. When a girlfriend and I go walking down the streets, I'm like doing my light language. I don't care if I'm speaking light language out in front of people. I'm like dancing around like the humans can't even see me and literally nobody even sees me because I put on a shield to make sure that I'm not drawing too much attention because learned the hard way with that. <clears throat> But also, they can't see me because they're not on that timeline, because they're so stuck in their own bullshit storyline that mostly isn't even theirs. <clears throat> One of the things that came up yesterday in a session, and I want to kind of bring it up now. <clears throat> is 
is um, empath. And the lady I was talking to was talking about being an empath and you know it's why she's so tired and all these things and it's a very typical response that we've take, taken ownership over this being an empath. And oh, you know, I can't go to big places because I'm an empath, so I take on too much energies. I take on everyone's emotions. Sound familiar? Did you know that every time you take on somebody's emotions into your body, you're actually taking away their trigger to heal themselves? And you're also sabotaging yourself because you're taking on other people's emotions and now you're feeling it as yours so you can't even see clearly what your truth is anymore because you have so many of everybody else's shit on top of yours. Can we just stop claiming that? Can we start using some tools to send everybody's shit back to them so that we can see what our vessel is holding? It's really hard to heal when you have 100,000 people's fucking emotions, akashics, projections lingering in your field. This is why I created that pendulum course because it gives you tools to help you release those emotions, pull shit out of your field, out of your house, and then close them portals because those are just an, in itself another triggering energy leak that just sits in that corner pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling on your energy. <clears throat> it's no different than being an empath. It's no different than letting narcissists play games with you and manipulate you and control you. It's no different than letting a boss sit there and treat you like shit for $18 an hour, $25 an hour, $60 an hour, it doesn't fucking matter. You're still playing the game. And this this is where that this is going to trigger a lot of people because I know I'm about to spice some things up here, but that's okay because you know what? We got to fucking be triggered sometimes. Some of my biggest triggers, some of the biggest things that pissed me off and traumatic things were the most eye-opening moments to help me see where I was off path. At the beginning of the eclipse season, I had a circumstance happen and I've talked about it a bit before at that moment. Something that happened to me pretty much identical just with you know, some different energy, but very identical. And <clears throat> I gave myself to have a mental breakdown. I gave myself a day. And then I got on the phone with a girlfriend. And we sat there and talked. And she's like, okay, so when you were in this situation eight years ago, what did you do? And I was like, well, my human tried to kill herself. My human was like, fuck this, I'm out. This earth isn't fun for me. I don't want to do this. Sound familiar to anybody? Suicide is my exit strategy always. It's an easy way out. And I feel like it's probably the way that I end up leaving eventually in a weird sense or like in that sleep. Like I don't feel like I'm getting into an accident or, you know, murdered or anything like this. Those, those don't hold any triggers to me in my field. I've pulled those out. Suicide was always that easy out. That is how I dealt with these things. My head went, if I could just not be here anymore, that would be better than trying to get through this bullshit. And this is going to be common for a lot of the star seeds here in bodies right now where we're just like, this feels like a hopeless case. As I'm doing this work, I had, I was talking to a mentor one day and I was really triggered because I'm watching as so many people are so lost and misguided and and just so much darkness around and while we're deconstructing it and dropping codes in people's fields a lot of people aren't even taking these codes in they're just letting them linger <clears throat> yet these codes are the most important thing that help you get to that next level because they're just glimpses of truth to help you deconstruct these things <laughs> I'm at 14 minutes. <clears throat> I didn't expect that. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about here. I kind of know, but I don't. So we have a lot of things trying to get on our way. We always have. It's part of it. And eight years ago when I tried to end my life, that was the easiest and the only thing I knew how to do because I had no tools. 
I had nothing to help me. I had nobody in my corner. I was really alone and I really had to fight for every day to stay alive. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I know a lot of people are likely in this position <clears throat> where they can't see the light, they can't see the truth, especially if we've been out of alignment, our lives are falling apart right now because that eclipse season came in and brought everything to the truth that wasn't holding that container properly. And so if you're in this place of darkness, what can you do to start getting back and start seeing truth and seeing your mission and what you're supposed to be doing here? Finding tools, finding the magic people, starting to believe in that magic as well. How do you start evolving that? We have to change the narrative. So if we're in a place where there's nobody that believes in this magic, everybody's calling you crazy, calling you a witch, whatever, that was what they did back home in Saskatchewan. Found out I was a tarot reader and all of a sudden I was a witch and all the boys in the shop would like treat me like shit. But I would just quit those jobs because one, there's fucking jobs everywhere. That doesn't, that's irrelevant and it doesn't matter. And if you don't believe that, that's part of your conditioning. Right? There's always a lack. There's never enough. Money's evil. The devil. Guess what? Money's energy too. So if you create that, guess what it's going to do for you? It's going to fucking create some toxic traits and patterns. What are you doing to evolve these things? Are you literally living your parents' belief system right now? Guess what? That's part of your mission. Is to deconstruct that shit. <clears throat> Everybody that told me blood is family and that you have to respect your elders and all these things. Listen, most of them elders don't fucking earn that respect. So stop sitting in that programming. Stop sitting in that conditioning. We have a lot of people that walk around abusing energies and souls and everything like this. And we just bow down because they're older than us. But did their ways work? And then we're going to have that argument. Yeah, well, I respect so and so and so. Yeah, but how many times have you gotten walked over because of your respect? Because we have these beings plugged into some really heavy, dark codexes, we'll say. They're being controlled and manipulated. They don't even know what they're doing. So while you're sitting there respecting them, you're just fucking feeding into that energy. <clears throat> I'm going to pull my own trigger out here because it, sh it makes me struggle watching it. I hate seeing all these magical, beautiful souls just getting shit on because they're scared to stand up and do something for themselves and change their narrative. I have had to deconstruct this narcissism loop since I was born. I had started with a mother who was a narcissist and then got into relationship after relationship after relationship with them and it's not easy so for those of you that are stuck in those narcissistic relationships listen I feel you I know what are you doing to get yourself out of it do you need some support guess what I've been there so message me right what are you doing to help yourself right now I didn't even pull any cards today because today is just a genuine like what are you doing to step on mission we can't keep living those old programs if we want to see some change on this earth plane so the biggest thing that's going to come to the surface right now is how are you changing and evolving what are you getting yourself involved in to help you shift and evolve even when i didn't have sources i had sources the internet has connections everywhere just feel into them Tap into their energy. Do they feel genuine? Like they're going to give you some bitch slaps if you need them. It's not all love and light and trying to make everything. My cat's going crazy. There must be some <laughs> animal out front. <laughs> this is chaos. Right? There's a distraction. There's something exciting just outside the window. Are you willing to go outside? My cat would do anything to get outside right now to go chase those birds and the bees and all the things, right? He's just not fixed yet, so he's not allowed to escape yet. 
<laughs> so he's trapped, just like a lot of you souls that are lost in that narrative, lost in your Akashics, trapped in a home, right? He's all sad and lonely. He wants outside, but right now he's stuck. What is he needing to learn? Well, it's more about a let's not reproduce everywhere. But, I mean, that's, that's a whole other topic for this earth plane that we won't talk about now because the sex stuff is actually so heavy and deep and dark. And we are all so plugged into it. I know people that hold such deep addictions to it that they... They can't think straight and there's a reason there's a reason that we get plugged into that energy and that we're getting pulled into that and 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 siphoned right because there's a lot of beings that are sucking that energy and abusing it but we're not going to go into that right now that's another topic we can go much deeper into a lot of this stuff you just have to be willing to listen Right? But we have to start somewhere. We need to start deconstructing these ancestral patterns. If we haven't done that, if we're still sitting really deep in triggers with our mom, with our dad, with our siblings, whatever this is, you're not healing that right now and you need to shift that. That's your first most important mission is you jumped into that family line, not because they're blood, <clears throat> because you have a whole shitload of Akashics with them likely, or they hold the codex that you required to make sure you had everything you needed for your mission. So if you're still stuck pouting about your parents and your siblings or how like life was so hard for you, you're just knee deep in that fucking ancestral patterning that you promised you'd break. And if you choose not to help that deconstruct, your children will have to. And their children. It's why we're here, right? Because mom and dad didn't do the healing and neither did their mom or dad or their mom or dad, so they sent in an SOS and was like, I need a fucking star being in here to heal this family line because we can't. It's obvious. And then your parents are still putting all those programs in your field going, this is what we need to heal. So they're here to trigger you and make you want to fight for more, but yet we have all these Akashics lingering our field going, but this is how we do things. But this is how we do things. And your star seed's like, mm mm, I don't think so. But maybe, right? And we get stuck in that programming and we go deep into that darkness. <coughs> <coughs> See? There's that throat stuff again. So, start healing that family line stuff. If you're still deep in that trigger and you can't escape it, Ask your body if you actually need to take a step away from that family for a while. It doesn't have to be forever. One of the biggest things I seen was being in the heart of my family line. I couldn't do anything because everybody was projecting their shit onto me. They're all so stuck in the human. Even still, eight years I've been evolving. I'm doing quantum healing now. I have evolved and shifted my life and, and started creating that life that I like dreamed about. And my family's still back home doing their thing. The same old thing they were doing when I left Saskatchewan. A lot of my friends back home, same thing. They're still just in a very same position. And it's no judgment. Little trigger for sure. Because um, I can see what happens when we do start evolving. So that's where my little small trigger lies. Because I want to see everybody evolving. That's my mission here is to help people see their truth, see their worth. And that's what I have to do for myself first. And so watching these people back home and they're not shifting and evolving is heartbreaking because a lot of those people that I knew were part of the solution. And they're not doing their work. <clears throat> and I know a lot of people, this isn't just like my friends. This is like clients that I've had for almost this whole eight years. I have some clients some are evolving and moving and all they do is evolve. And every time we have a session, it's like they're so far gone from the last time. <clears throat> and then I have others where I do a session and it's been a year, two, three years even sometimes. And their reading is the damn same as it was two, three years ago. And yet, and, and so I can't even drop the codes in their field that they require to really help them evolve to the next level because I'm still like 
here's that ancestral stuff that you need to heal. You're still really stuck in those relationship things and, and about love or about money or about whatever. Guess what? That's what you need to heal right now. So take a look at it. Stop obsessing about it and actually look at that stuff. It's going to be so fucking important. This is part of the healing. So focus on that ancestral line. If you've already gone past that ancestral line, then start asking soul what's mission. What do I need to do to help the land, to help myself, to help the humans? Um, look into getting that pendulum course that I've created. I didn't create it to, you know, it's not a get rich quick thing. This was literally like, what is, what are really important tools that everybody could use on a daily basis to help them evolve and make their lives better? And I put a lot of information into that course because I wanted to make sure you got everything that you could so you can go home every day and clean up and make this your safe place and learn how to start pulling that energy off of yourself and sending it back to the people that it doesn't belong to. Here's the thing, guys. Even still, I'll pull emotions regularly. And there's like 10, 15 different emotions. None of them are mine. I resent, return to sender. I tap into my field. I'm like, okay, is there anything that's actually mine here? <clears throat> Maybe a couple emotions come up, but usually there's nothing. So a lot of times my triggers and my like <sighs> moments, there aren't even my stuff. And then I send all those emotions back and I'm like, oh, actually I'm fine. Okay, let's keep going. And I get on the phone with my girlfriend or whatever I'm doing. So invest in yourself, right? I didn't get these tools for free, right? I spent a lot of money, a lot of time <clears throat> over the years figuring it out, relearning myself. Because nobody gave me tools, even like this pendulum course. It's not me teaching you, it's me reigniting that knowing in you that you already knew how to do this all along. That's the point of these things. So while I invested in myself over this last eight years and took these courses and really dived into them, I didn't just take the courses and leave them, right? I took those courses and I really dived into it. What does that mean for me? How does that help me evolve? How does that help me shift? Where did I do this before? How can I heal those old wounds where I abused my magic? Because that's some of it too, right? We've had many lifetimes where we hurt people with our magic, so we shut it off. But you can't see that if you're still stuck in your ancestral stuff. So focus on where are you at right now? Are you still in ancestral stuff? Okay, what is what needs to be healed next? How do we evolve from this? If you've gone deeper, okay, what's showing up a lot? What signs, synchronicities, symbolisms? This is going to be huge. So, we're 30 minutes deep into this, so here's what I'm going to do. Anybody that watches this video till the end and actually took in all these codes and didn't tell me to go fuck myself, which I'm totally happy and fine if you did, that's fine. If you got all the way to the end of this video, I'm going to offer you a free three-card pull that I will send you a short voice recorded message on Facebook um, or email, whatever works best. <clears throat> Private message me, letting me know that you finished this video to the end. So this isn't going to be something that you comment in the post so that everybody sees it and goes, oh, this is, if you actually dedicated yourself to this and sat through those triggers and laughed or whatever this was to really sit and listen to this message, it means that you're ready to evolve or you are evolving, right? And so if you listened all the way to the end, shoot me a message. Um, we're going to say sweet dreams, text me sweet dreams, and I will know <laughs> like that's what's right on my fucking desk. I don't know, guys, this is just coming off on the fly here because one, I want to know who's actually sitting here and watching these videos. And two, if you're willing to sit and listen to a triggering video for 30 minutes, you fucking earned it, okay? Because, listen, when I used to get triggered, I was like, fuck this bitch, I'm out next. Right? So, 
I'm going to leave you guys here. I probably will end up pulling cards on a different video shortly, um, but this was a very important message. So if you watched all the way to the end, shoot me a message, sweet dreams. We're gonna roll with it because it fucking came out my mouth. And I will send you a little mini spread, three cards, um, and just give you a little message of kind of where you need to evolve to next, what needs to transpire in order to get you moving, okay? So I'm gonna leave you there. Thank you everybody for being here and listening and evolving with me. And I will leave the link for my services, my booking site, as well as the pendulum course so that you can get in on that if you're ready to start investing in yourself and going to that next level, okay? So I will chat with you all soon. Take care.